Season three of My Hero Ultra Rumble just gets better and better. So we are here on the Ultra Rumble database. Shout out to Hydros for this database. It is looking so good, man. We got the map rotation here. We also have the new quirk skill sets rotating so you can see the different typings for characters. It looks very, very cool. So we have all of the new quirk skill sets that are gonna be released upcoming. We know uh, what they're gonna be. We don't know when they're gonna release, don't have a release date yet, but we know what they're gonna be at least. We also know when Vigilante Deku and Whitehair Dobby are gonna to drop in the game. We also have a potential release date for All for One, and of course, we already know Twice is coming mid-season, but today we're going to be talking about all of that stuff. So let's start with the new characters who are getting Quirk skill sets. First off, we have Deku, who just got his in the game. Then we are going to have Bakugo, and then Todoroki. This is not necessarily in order. Once again, we don't know how they're going to release them, when they're going to release them. I'm hoping they'll do Todoroki and Bakugo like on the same banner, but they probably won't, so we'll have to wait and see, and we don't know how long it's going to take them to actually release this but these two are definitely getting quirk skill sets along with shigaraki so at least a villain is not getting neglected this time we are getting at least one villain with a new quirk skill set and shigaraki to be fair uh kind of needed it dobby is the other one i would argue kind of needs it so i'd like to see dobby get a quirk skill set preferably when white haired dobby comes out it's still a possibility you know we got time until white haired dobby comes out so fingers crossed that we get a new white haired dobby skill set we'll see though when it comes out. So let's start by talking about Bakugo here. So Bakugo's original typing is red. His new typing is going to be blue and it changes his alpha to an AP machine gun where now he uses both hands to fire machine gun shots. And you can see a picture of that right there. That'll be very interesting to see how that ends up working out, but you can see ammo count goes from four to five to six at max level, level nine. And then for Quirk Skill Beta, Shrapnel Strike, he will jump forward with great force while throwing a bomb towards the ground. So this makes it seem like this character is going to be on the move more. And as you're on the move, you're going to throw or drop bombs below you at potentially hurting enemies, which is kind of cool. It'll be cool for him to have that close range ability to actually be able to fight close range fights. And I like that. That's going to be very interesting. I'm interested in the fact that they changed him to a speed character, because does that mean that his special action explosive speed is going to come up more often than it already does on his uh, power version? You know, because right here, it's the same thing. Explosive speed, the special action doesn't actually change. So maybe we'll get it more often on the speed version of Bakugo. And then we also have Quirk Skill, Gamma, Bomb Blast, Mine, Area Damage Attack that creates an explosion around you. That'll be interesting to see. This picture right here, I'm not sure that this does it justice because it looks like he, is he spinning or is he up in the air? It looks like he's up in the air dropping up a big blast. So I'm not sure what it's gonna be. I, the way this sounds to me is like he'd be uh, spinning around and do a area explosion around him. I could be wrong. Let me know what you guys think of that down in the comments for his skills. Okay. And then of course he is a speed character. So if you have more speed characters on your team, you get these additional buffs for speed. So the new speed Bakugo looking very interesting. Seems like he's going to be more of a brawler kind of like Deku is will be interesting to see how this works out. Next up, we have Todoroki. So Todoroki was also originally a power character. Now he is going to be a technical character. And so far, we don't really have much information on him. So he is one of the ones that is not really ready to go just yet. But we do know he is going to be, get, be getting an alternate quirk skill set, right? And I don't think this is any different from his normal special action. Yeah, that special action is going to be staying the same for him. At least we know that. But hey, something to look forward to in the end. We will be getting a new Todoroki skill set. I imagine it will go like Bakugo, Shigaraki first, then maybe Todoroki. We'll have to wait and see. I was hoping to see Todoroki and Bakugo on the same banner. It could happen, but probably not. That's just my copium, really. And last but not least, we have Shigaraki, who was also a red type character, will now be a yellow type character. Who saw that one coming? And so what this is going to do, he's going to have Earth Break on his alpha skill, area damage attack that decays the ground in a fan shape. So it's like a, an AOE ground attack with his alpha which is interesting so more for those close brawl encounters i'm assuming it'll be interesting to see how that works his quirk skill beta grudge shoot throw debris to cause decay on impact any enemies hit by the attack are affected by decay and take damage for a set time decay spreads to other enemies close by that is going to be such a cool skill right there just like you have to get away from your own allies to avoid the decay that's crazy that's actually going to be pretty nuts that that is probably the thing i'm looking most forward to out of all these quirk skill sets that's going to be really really cool and then the quirk skill gamma catastrophe perform a dash attack in the aim direction 
hold to decay the ground at the end of the attack. Any enemies hit by the attack are affected by decay, which is going to happen over time. So that's pretty cool. That is going to be really, really nice for Shigaraki. I think this quirks, I think this quirk skill set is going to be better than the one he already has. Like the one he already has does massive damage, but just for like actually being more helpful to the team i think this is going to be really really good and then his special action pretty much stays the same okay so looking really good for shigaraki and that is it for the quirk skill sets if you want to see uh twice and all for one's quirk skill set i'll link a video below that i already went over their quirk skill sets like a month and a half two months ago back when we originally found out about them and their their quirk skill sets look really really cool but i'm not going to talk about them here because i have already done that so once again if you want to see those check out the link in the description below now let's talk about the upcoming releases of white haired dobby Vigilante Deku and a bunch of other costumes that look really, really cool. So currently we have the Kung Fu outfits for a couple of characters in game. Well, now we know when the additional Kung Fu outfits are going to be coming out. And that is going to be around the 7th of February. We will get Kaminari, we will get Aizawa, we'll get all the other Kung Fu outfits that we're looking for. Uh, I think Sue was on there and a couple of other characters, right? We are also going to be able to get in plain sight Shigaraki on the 7th. And then white haired Dobby, the one that I know a lot of people are going to be looking forward to. Uh, it comes out on the 21st of February. That is very, very hype. And then on at the same time, we will also be getting twice, okay? Along with Twice's bag head costume, which is sick, okay? So the 21st of February, that is the banner right there, being that you get white hair Dobby and Twice on that banner. That's actually good. That's one of their better banners that they've released so far. So that's actually really, really hype. Also, you can see on the 6th of March. Okay, so these these outfits actually come later right here for Sue, uh, Sue and Kirishima. They will be on the 6th of March where you're able to get those Kung Fu outfits. So the Kung Fu outfits are gonna span three months, January, February, and March. So keep that in mind if you're trying to pull for any particular Kung Fu outfits because uh, Sue's obviously looks really cool. I shouldn't call it a Kung Fu outfit because hers is called a, I'm gonna butcher this, uh, Jiangxi costume i apologize if i'm saying that wrong but yeah if you want to pull for those outfits they come out on the 6th of march and then we also get a toga outfit and a cementos outfit that are okay they're just kind of like recolored they're not that great and then you have the costume beta this is okay i liked this costume for aizawa that's coming out on the 27th of march the bandage one that looks pretty cool these other ones don't look really all that great you got the half tied up twice the handkerchief one that one's kind of cool that one looks decent right and then you got the alternate versions of it. And then we get to the better costumes over here. We have Mount Lady with her casual wear and some Mentos with his day off, bro. My boy is looking like a snack, man. I love Cementos. Cementos' outfit looks so good. But I know a lot of people are going to be like simping for Mount Ladies because Mount Ladies is also very, very good. So good costumes right there. And then the moment we've been waiting for on the 10th of april april that is january february march april yeah april <laughs> we will get vigil anti deku okay and look at the variants i really like that variant right there but yeah we got all these different versions of vigil anti deku i am super excited for vigil anti deku to come out in the game to be able to wear this costume will we get a new quirk skill set with it probably not okay would be cool if we did but probably not it would be you know it would just be too smart for them to release new quirk skill sets for characters that have hype costumes I don't know. <laughs> I would like to see that, but we'll see. And then if we go a little bit further, right? On the 10th of April, we have all for one costumes coming out. So I'm guessing, this is just purely speculation on my part, that we will be getting all for, round, all for one around the 10th of April, okay? So that is good and bad at the same time because at least we now know kind of when he's gonna be releasing. That is going to be a month after twice, probably at the start of season four, from my understanding, okay? Because season three, halfway through, will be in uh, about 30 days from now. We're towards the end of January, so towards the end of February is around the time twice will release, okay? And then that means another 30 days after that, roughly, maybe a little bit more by the time you look at this, right, is when All For One is gonna release, okay? So, um, yeah, twice around the end of February, beginning of April, all for one around the beginning of uh, March. So it is going to be a while until we get all for one, but he is coming. We are getting two new villains in the game, right? And then he also has some very sick costumes coming out. I really like the costumes for all for one. All for one is going to be a character that a lot of people are going to pull for. And then kind of after all for one releases, we'll see how this game goes here in the next three months. And I think people are really going to start to make their decision on whether they're going to stick around for the game or leave the game, right? So hopefully... 
Uh, the other stuff they drop in the meantime, while we're waiting for All for One, being the quirk skill sets, they actually come during that time. And we don't have to wait till like after All for One for the quirk skill sets. Because if they keep the game fresh, right, people will stick around. If they don't and they just let it sit there stale like it did for season three, it's not going to be that great. And then we also have these uh, old uniforms for Deku and Uraraka and Su. These are their junior high uniforms. Same thing with Bakugo, same thing with Kirishima. You can see his hair back from junior high. We have a Kendo hero costume, a Ibro hero costume, and another uh, twice birthday costume that you'll get for free. Okay, so a bunch of really cool stuff coming up in the game in My Hero Ultra Rumble. I'm excited for the quirk skill sets. I'm excited for Vigilante Deku. I'm excited for white haired Dobby. I'm excited for the release of All for One, but it is a ways away. There's just a lot of good stuff to look forward to. So even though there has been a lot of negative stuff with them removing, you know, the login bonus tickets and making rental tickets cost more and stuff like that. A lot of positives too. So let me know how you guys are feeling down in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the video, please consider going down there, hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button. And thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.